Hello there. Well, t in today's video, I'm going to be making my Christmas batch of home brew scrumpy cider. Now, the recipe I'm going to be following is of a good friend of mine, WXPM, Graham. Uh, it's a simple process of making cider, otherwise I wouldn't be doing it. <laughs> Uh, it's very simple and yet the end result is fantastic and if you want to know how to make this I suggest you go to his channel WXPM I'll put a link in the description of this video and he has there a playlist of uh, how to make homebrew scrumpy cider I'm going to make this 9% uh, <coughs> strength this time so 12 ounces of sugar. So there you go. And then what goes in each demi John? So all I do now. I've added the 12 ounces of sugar and entering the uh, apple juice. I'm doing two demijohns. This one will be apple juice and the second will be apple and pear. So I'll have a scrumpy apple, uh, apple cider and also uh, apple and pear, which should be very nice. Now I've filled up with apple juice, <coughs> so I've got the sugar in, the apple juice, <coughs> and the apple juice I've put up to here leaving a gap for any frothing or anything like that. And this is yeast nutrient, um, you put a teaspoon in each demi john. So that's one teaspoon. And, then, and universal wine yeast. Being careful not to drop it. <laughs> there you go. And then all that remains is the old airlock. Put that on. And that then will go in a warm room. So that's the apple cider. So now it's just a case of the same thing, same process in the second demi John for the apple and pear. So I'll come back to you when I've done them. So there we have it, the two demi Johns done. The darker one is the pear cider and the lighter one is the apple and pear. So all I've got to do now is the airlocks are on so I can take them now to a warm, ro warm room upstairs and uh, let them ferment then for a week or two which they're starting to do already so uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon <laughs>